Hi. So I made some revisions to my GR55 key tools that I just wanted to show off. I'll just uh, explain this really briefly again what this does. So over here we have a Raspberry Pi. This is connected to my Roland GR55 guitar synthesizer. And what this does is it creates a local wireless network that allows me to connect my mobile device uh, to the Raspberry Pi and the GR55 and it does some additional processing and some add some features that the GR55 either does not do or does not do well and I thought this kind of helps out a little bit. So what you'll also notice here is we have a little foot switch. This enables and disables some of these features on the fly via a foot pedal because I thought it wouldn't be too easy clicking around on your phone while you're playing guitar for some of these features. So I'll show you what this does. So the first option on here is a harmonizer that I created. Uh, you probably really can't see the text on here very well so you'll just have to take my word for what it says on here. So this has all of your different notes and your different degree of harmonies and this is basically a turn the harmonizer on or off and a scale major or minor. So I have this, this is connected to my foot pedal so let's say I wanted to do a C and we'll do uh, a fifth harmony so what should happen here and I will do a C scale a, I'm, I'm, yes a C scale C major so what should happen here is you should notice these uh, enable harmonizer should turn on when I click on my foot pedal here but before I do that I'll just play a, a C, C scale here so you notice there's uh, no processing and then after I do this this should uh, turn on after I hit the foot pedal you should notice that turns on and we should have a processed sound nice little harmonizer sound on that so uh, this does different degrees of harmony I can go up a uh, octave and that'll sweeten the sound and this also goes down notes so we could go down we could go down five and this also changes we can change the, the, the root notes so I can do like a D and let's change it to D minor and we'll go up a we'll go up four so you should hear and I think the tracking's pretty good on it it seems pretty fast to me but not that I play fast so what do I know so you can click this off and this will disable the harmonizer and you're back to your, your non-harmonized non sound and also another feature I added to this is if you go to different patches it will also reset the uh, sound the sound as well because you don't want this process so as you go to another patch and all sorts of confusing things could happen so my second feature on here is a uh, alternate tuning option so you can turn on your different tunings on here so you'll notice I'm just in a, in a, I'm, I'm just in a uh, standard tuning now and then if I enable this you can turn this on and this does different standard and open tunings and drops and uh, other kind of tuning so if I change this around let's just go to like an open C and if I don't if, if I put just does a C right away in that kind of tuning and if I uh, change this around too let's you should hear it uh, change uh, notes as I do this so this is pretty much a e really easy way to dial in an alternate tuning so that's how that works our third option on here is an instrument picker so what this does is I wanted an easy way to just cycle through the instruments without going on the um, GR55 itself so this I can turn this on and this will cycle through our different 
PCM and PCM1 instruments. And it's different groupings for the different the different instruments. So that's how that works and same kind of thing you uh, cycle your um, patch and it'll turn it off. So that's that and my next feature I put on here is a pitch bender. So what this does is I wanted to simulate something like a um, whammy pedal. So what this will do is I can cycle anywhere from 0 to up um, a pitch of up to 12 and from 0 down to negative 12. And when you enable the pitch bender this takes over for the um, for the pedal. So I have uh, my non-expression pedal set up as volume so when you turn this on it uh, disables the volume and uh, enables the pitch bender thing. So if I put this up to up 12 this should this should, uh, when I enable it, you notice I'm going up, up 12, and then I can change this to uh, down, detune to 12. And then I can do like up, a, up four. That's how that works. And my next feature on here, this is uh, something I did for Steve. This is a kill switch. So I didn't really want to poke a hole in my guitar and make a kill switch. So I created this little program and this does uh, something pretty similar. And this works on the same kind of theory that the, uh, how the pitch bender works, this will uh, disable a volume pedal and it will use the pedal as the rate that you want to press the uh, kill switch the you know how fast or slow you're uh, turning it on and off so if you enable the kill switch I also have this set up as a foot pedal so you'll notice now the kill switch is enabled and it should do the sort of uh, kill switchy kind of thing there and then if I move the pedal up and down change the rate of the kill switch. And same kind of thing, you can turn that off and uh, you're back to uh, normal. And the final option I have on here is, I just call this power tools. This is just used to turn the Raspberry Pi off since there is no official power button on the Raspberry Pi and you just don't want to dump the power on it because that could be bad because you could end up uh, corrupting your SD card so this is used you just cycle these two buttons here and this will send a shut off command to the Raspberry Pi and turn it off so uh, it'll be uh, able to use the next time you uh, turn it on and uh, you could use all these tools so if anybody's interested in this let me know and uh, one thing I failed to mention is this is coded in pure data. So I also, I could just give out the pure data module and you could run that off of a Linux or um, a OS X or Windows machine without actually having to go through the bother of using the um, Raspberry Pi. The only reason I like the Raspberry Pi is it's a self-enclosed um, unit and it's portable and I think it does a nice job in that that there there isn't a lot of extra hardware sitting around to be able to do this so if anybody's interested let me know and i can uh, give some further details or the again the um, pure data patch or pretty much explain how to uh, set up the whole raspberry pi to do this okay thanks for watching